Good one, I love. But if it's possible to speak to Mr. McKelvey, please. It's Gareth Sarsfield. I've um, emailed him in the last two, three weeks with no reply, so I'd like to speak to him today if that's possible. Um, no, I can't, I've not been able to make an appointment with him. As I said, he's not been, not been replying to my email, so there is a, a, a notice we'd like to serve Mr. McKelvey today regarding the rollout of vaccinations in school. So Mr. McKelvey can't through to the but he said that you can present it to me and I can pass it through. It, it has to be presented to, to Mr. McKelvey himself, unfortunately. Right, okay. um, obviously we have we have tried to communicate yeah, but had no reply back. Okay. We didn't want to come um, right. and, and there be a, a scene outside yeah, or any protesting. Yeah. We want to do it as peacefully yeah. as we can. I There's know. also questions that we'd like to ask which were in the emails and as a concerned yeah. parent. I should be able to get answers to them so, questions. The difficulty we've got is that I can take it, but he cannot come through. So do you want me to pass a message on then? Or, I mean, you, you can hand it to me and I'll make sure PA takes it. Would it, better be to, would it be better to make an appointment today to sit down with Mr. McKelvey? Would, so is that, would that suit Mr. Mr. McKelvey? I can appointment, but I can ask that they do give you a ring. I can't, I don't hold his diary, you see. Right, can we get his um, PA out here then? Because she'll hold his diary and we'll be able to make an appointment that way. I've been, we've been patient for three weeks. Now. We've been patient. Thank you. Thank you very much. Hi, Miss Frost. You did. You, it, it was me that you spoke to yesterday. No, no, Laura's a friend. She's also a concerned parent. Um, obviously, we're not. Absolutely fine. Obviously, we're not getting any reply from Mr. McKelvey in the last coming to three weeks now. As a concerned parent, I'm wanting the questions to the to the email answering basically. There's questions on there regarding the rollout of this vaccine right. and he hadn't even had the decency to, to reply. Now he's here safeguarding our children yeah. um, and three weeks has gone by and I haven't even had a reply. The two replies that I did have one was to take it through the complaints procedure which it ain't yet a complaint because he hadn't yet answered the questions. Um, but we do need to serve a notice of liability on Mr. McKelvey. Right, I can take that for you. Right, being his personal assistant, we are happy to, to okay. give you that notice as long as it gets to Mr. McKelvey. Okay. Um, it's signed um, by by four of us who are here today. Right, okay. um, but we would still like the, you know, the answers to the questions on the email. It, it, it's a season. Oh, please, are here. Hello, Matt. Hey, it's a season oh, this evening. In, in other words. No Hello. Hello. Yeah, How are you? Yeah, good. Are they allowed there? Um, they're, they're all well behaved. Yeah, private property. Uh, private property. We're here trying to land a notice yeah. um, to Mr. McKelvey, which is the head teacher. Right. I've been contacting Mr. McKelvey now for three weeks and not had any, not had any reply. And as a concerned parent, we want to know why there's no replies for the questions which have been put in front of him. Right. Um, the questions are, are, and the information that has been given is all data off of government websites and trusted links um, and, and it's all to do with the, the, the rollout of, on the children. Uh, the yellow card scheme shows that there's enough deaths and adverse re reactions you know, to kids. So we're here today to put Mr McKelvey under, on a liability notice that any harm that comes to these kids in this, in this school that is on his um, He's liable. He, he, he is liable yeah. because the government has already said that they're not taking responsibility for any adverse reactions or anything like that. Yeah. So, so someone has to be held accountable. Okay. Now we've 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 given him the the notice and all the information to read through. Now all the information, as I said, is trusted and off of official websites. Yeah. Um, and to not reply to that to a concerned parent of a child child at this school is just you know it's not it's not acceptable. So we're here today to serve him the notice, but Mr. McKelvey won't come out. Yeah. Um, Which so. is, is, he doesn't have to come out, does it? No, he doesn't have to come out, no. 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 Can, can I just correct. press pause, sorry to interrupt. Um, can I ask, are you acting under your oath to protect the people? I always do. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. I believe, it. is it not a voluntary thing though, this vaccine? It, what what they've done is they've, they've, they've said under, under Gillick competence that the kids can take this. Now under Gillick competence that would be that would be legal if the vaccine was approved but it isn't approved. Can I it's, just make it's a, a point it's for here, an because it might, this. this might help you yeah. in this. So we've had information that's come through from the immunisation team yeah. um, which says it's a consent form okay, yeah. 
So as long as the parent completes yeah. that form yeah. to say yes or no, yeah. then if the parent says, ticks, no, I do not consent, then we won't give the child. It's yeah. the problem. Yeah, that we understand the, that. The, that. Yes. Is, but there's, there's, there's parents, not at this that, school, but parents at other schools which are reporting that they've gone ahead and give the vaccination right, well, when they've not consented. That's so so school, that then becomes a personal problem. That my, is, my, yeah. my so, two kids are at this school. Yeah, so basically the situation is we will send consent forms out. If you tick to say, I do not want my child to have this vaccine, yep. they won't get the vaccine. Thank you. That's fine, but they're still acting illegally. It's still, it's, it's still an illegal move what they're doing because on the Gilly conference it's illegal. It's on illegal, it's on illegal if it's being FDA approved, which it hasn't. Right. So, so the only person that's acting illegal is the head of the school ask. by letting that procedure roll out in this school. Because you he is. Try? It's not going to come out. If it, if it, I'll, I'll tell you now, it'll probably come out now. It won't come out. No. It's it won't come out. You've got something you can leave it and then that's I'm with that's PA, fine. so I've come yeah, out to speak. Yeah, thank you. We appreciate it. And like I said, like I've spoke to Laura about this morning, our, our conversation yesterday were, were, were a lot better than I expected. Mm. Um, yeah. But, but Good. There's information you know, we that we, to, we, we believe that the kids should, we believe that the kids should be given both sides of the information. Now it's all right saying that under Gilly Compass they can they can accept this vaccine. If my child has an headache at school and comes to see the nurse in school and says yeah. she's got an headache, they will not give her a paracetamol. But Why if is the that? Parents, if the parents because are the, ticking yes or no to the consent, then the parents are making that choice. But under under no consent. Yeah, if there's no consent given, then the child is if they if the parent hasn't return the consent form yeah. then that rule does apply yeah. however it's up to the parents if they feel strongly yeah. that they fill out that form and, and can we just ask what sort of peer pressure is on the kids no, no, peer pressure. Peer pressure. no is there any peer pressure from the computer can i just get that sorry um do we just press visit us thank you so there's no peer pressure from other pupils regarding the vaccination and the, and the pupils can just if they say no there. there will be no Continue to be a pressure or ask why they're saying that. No. That's absolutely illegal. So, as I've said, I hope that reassures you. Yeah, it does reassure us, but like I said, there is other parents that are acting illegally. Yeah, I know that. Yeah, I know that. But like I said, there is other there is other instances up and down the country where people are now reporting that they've been given wrong vaccine, being given it without consent, etc., which is criminal. So, so today we're still we're still under common law, and this is a liability. For it, for Mr. McKelvey, yeah, and it's thank you, and it's right there for you. But please be assured. So. I hope it rest, rest it yeah, yeah. eases your mind knowing what we're doing in your child's school. Yeah, yeah. So, well, there's many questions, yeah. and this is why I wanted to sit down with Mr. McKelvey because there is an individual risk assessment in place, and that's to do with mask wearing. Now, I could, there's reports in the information that I sent Mr. McKelvey about the damage to children who are constantly wearing these masks. Surgeons wear these masks all day, every day, but they change them every half an hour. So every time they leave and come back into a room, these kids are wearing the same mask day in, day out. Right. Right? Walking around eight hours a day, causing themselves more harm than they are good. And this is all under pressure from the schools, the school governing bodies, teachers. We, as concerned parents, are the people. We should stand up for these kids because it's their health. Yeah. They're, 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 um, they do around school when they're just travelling from classroom to classroom because obviously it's a social area, so they're asked to just and then they can take them. But is it is it forced upon them? They're asked to. Right. Um, they if, there's to. A, if there's if there's if there's a reason why a medical reason, it's just to protect um, the spread right. um, for staff and students. But they don't have to wear that, you say. Well, they are asked to. As you can see, they are asked to, but they don't have to by law. Because it's not a legal requirement. It's, it's not a legal requirement. Yeah. So as of, as of today, my kids will no longer be wearing masks at school. And, and I'd like to leave that message with you yourself, well, you Mr. Well, you can get in touch with the year leader and let them know that. That's well, I will email, but like the previous emails I've had, I haven't had much reply from from or regarding the, the rollout of the vaccine. So well, if you put an email, yeah, so that's what I've got. I will be putting in an email. And, um, 
please don't enforce that on them after, okay. after I've stated that I don't want my children to be wearing these masks. I believe they do more, more harm than good, so right. I don't want my kids coming to school. That there's enough anxiety already and enough depression going around in, within these children without making them muzzle wearing a mask all day. It's disgusting. So the, the notes have been searching. Can I just make a note of your numbers? Yeah, eight three eight. Five nine two. Thank you for coming. No Thank you for your support. Really appreciate it. Thank you. 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 We, we, all, right. we only walked into there to approach yeah, I know, you, you I know. thought that, and then you've come straight out, which is Yeah, fine, yeah, yeah. The, the mention that we were only allowed to in, hence me and Laura being yeah, in there. No, um, yeah, You know, we, we want to be here peacefully. I, I wanted to ask that question about masks as well, because I've got a 14-year-old at school. Yeah, it's it's really mean, it's, concerning, isn't it? We want to do the right thing by kids. There's a lot of information out there, which, which like isn't being told. It's one of them, isn't it? It's People have been told this information, and it's great to be able to speak to you today, because because yourself, you've just said yourself, you're concerned regarding the wearing of masks and, and my point in there were exactly right. Yeah. There hasn't been any that's your own preference, isn't yeah, there? There's been no individual. What I've said to them is risk assessment it's not a law. Place. It's not a law. No, it's, it's not a law. law. And that's it's why a school policy, I don't know. That's yeah, why I questioned it a second yeah. time while we yeah. were on camera. But that's nothing to do with police and yeah. Yeah. So you also mention that these these vaccines are still in trials for 2023. They're not FDA approved. And if you go on the government yellow card system, there's been over 1,600 deaths. Yeah. That's, oh, yeah, that's and, and I know deaths. people who've had a stroke after they've yeah. had the first yeah, job. Yeah, so I, I totally understand yeah. why you're doing this. It's, it's sinister. It's, illegal, just, it's illegal what they're doing, and it's sinister. Yeah. We're not, the thing is, we're not anti-vax. Yeah, yeah, that's correct. All, all the media are saying that we're anti-vax. We're not anti-vax. Yeah. We're I'm anti fully immunised. I, I even got immunised to go to Dominican Republic yeah. for the yeah. honeymoon, which were ruined by pandemic. So, so up to that point, I were fully vaccinated. But this isn't a vaccine. Saying it's a gene altering therapy, which which no one's you know it's never been. This is a trial in humans, yeah, yeah. and now they want to do it in children. It's killing. It's going to kill kids. And, and well, someone has to make if the government aren't responsible, the vaccine companies aren't responsible. The people so, administering it in the school, someone has yeah, and that's why he's got. That's why he's been left a liability notice because as a concerned father of children in that school. I want to know what he's doing to safeguard my children. And that's it. What I have said to him is that he needs to send out some sort of blanket email to parents yeah, who are concerned exactly. about this exactly. thing. Yeah, yeah. Just saying that you need to give consent for, that, for yeah. your kids to watch. Did, yeah. did you get the yeah. opportunity to speak to did, him? Yeah. That's brilliant, yeah. thank you. Yeah, okay. thanks for your and he's, he's a, he, Did you see him receive the letter of liability? She, she was with him yeah, in the yeah. office. Fantastic, so, yeah. thank brilliant. you. Yeah. And, and the, what, what, my, what my concern is, is obviously you're in uniform, he's, in, he's an head teacher. Yeah. That, that takes away the humanness about yeah. it. It yeah. puts a protocol in place. Now he's following a protocol, like yourselves in yeah. your job. We're humans, concerned parents yeah. for the kids of this gene altering therapy, yeah. which is gonna which is gonna affect millions of children if it's pushed ahead. So we're here today, you know, to, to, to try and prevent that yeah. or prevent it as much as possible and, and, and raise awareness between.